So in this video, I'll show you how to create interface profile and inside of the interface profile, I'll show you how to create interface selector and inside of that there will be actual reference of the physical port numbers like port number 1, 2, 3 or range of ports. So in that particular port or interface, I will map the interface policy group. The main fundamental is to push the policies over to the interface. So if I have a policy group of CDP plus LLDP plus MCP for example, I want to push that configuration over to the interface. This thing I'll start and thereafter I will map this switch profile to the interface profile. See actually we should also know on which switch this particular port is present. Like port number 1 can be on the switch number 1 that is leaf 1 or it can also be there on leaf number 2. So we have to identify the switch. So ultimately we should map the switch with the interface. An interface should have the policy. One thing more I have restarted this AP controller so I have reconfigured it. So some of the naming conventions may be different. The purpose is just to show you how things are actually done. So to be able to configure the interface profile, I have to click on the fabric, access policies, interfaces, leaf interfaces, profiles. It doesn't have any that is why it is not having the arrow sign. Right click, create leaf interface profile or you want to create the profile for the fax interfaces. Means if you have the fax module connected, then you can use the second one. I'll use the first option. I'll give it a name interface dash profile dash one. So inside of this, I have to create the interface selectors plus sign. Click here and give it a name. So for every interface, try to have a new interface selector interface one. So interface one will mean one slash one. I told you that we have to map the interface policy group here. You can choose to map it right away or you can do it at later stage. Click over this down arrow. I have a couple of these interface policy group. I can choose any of these. Let's do it at later stage. Let me scroll down. So I'll add one more interface. Interface 2, 1 slash 2. Click on OK. I can also mention the range. Interface 3 dash 9. It will be 1 slash 3 dash 1 slash 9. Click on OK. So our interface profile is created. So I'll click on the submit button. It is very simple. So now let's map the interface policy group with the actual port or interface. How we can do it? Just double click over here. So let me go back so click on the interfaces you want to map the interface policy group to the interfaces right click here click here profiles choose this profile or double click it is opened up you can see that interface selector is here go down there are many interfaces so pick the interface selector interface dash one means one slash one interface dash two means one slash two so where do you want to attach this ipg you can attach on multiple interfaces. It is your choice. So let's start with the first one. Click over this one and double click. Now window has opened up. See it is giving us an option to choose the IPG. Click two IPGs are there. One is for access port, the normal access ports. And second one is for port channel. Let's select the first one. Click submit. Okay. It is verifying it. Submit changes. It is done for the first port. You can see that it is done. If you want to verify it, just go back to the profile, click here and let's move like this. You can see that IPG access policy group is attached to this. Similarly, you can attach it with these interfaces or this interface. Double click and select the interface policy group. Let's do the first one. Submit. It is done. See my mouse on the left side. Let me go here, click here, let me move on the right side, you see this, IPG access. So this is how interface policy group is mapped with the actual interfaces, 1 slash 1. So this configuration CDP, LLD, PMC, whatever is inside of this, it is mapped or pushed over to this. Just try to relate it with CLI method. Ultimately, we do it the same way. The commands are used in that, but here it is GUI. Now, 
one thing I told you, I'll show you how to reference or map the switch profile with the interface profile. So where to check the switch profile? Under the switches, leaf switches. Profile, I have three profiles. The first profile is meant for the leaf number one. See leaf number one, 101. 101 is an identification. Second is for both 101 and 102 and 102. Uh, it is uh, leaf profile 2. So I want to map this leaf profile 1 with the interface profile which I have just created. Just double click over here. It will open the same window. You see. Go down. Here. Scroll down. It is saying associated interface selector profile. This is the interface profile. Click on this plus button. From the drop down menu select the interface profile 1. This is the one which I created. Click submit. So it means that leaf number 101, that is leaf 1, has a port 1 slash 1, which is now linked with the interface policy group 1. So CDP plus LLDP means whatever policy or policies that IPG had, those will be applicable on that particular interface. This is how it is done. For the first time we created the interface policies, then we merged those policies together and formed IPG. Then we created switch profile wherein we gave reference to switch selectors. Inside of that there was reference to actual switches, leaf 1 or leaf 2 or leaf 1 and 2. Now we mapped switch profile with the interface profile. And also inside of that interface profile there was interface selector and inside of that interface selector there was actual port number 1 slash 1 which was mapped with the interface policy group. Similarly I did for 1 slash 2. Let me quickly take it there as well. I'll go to interfaces, leaf interfaces, profiles. This is the interface profile I created. I'll move to the right side. So this is selector. These are the actual interfaces. So it is mapped to IPG access policy group. And where was this policy group? Interfaces, leaf interfaces and policy groups. It was leaf access port policy, IPG access. Okay, this is the policy. And if you move on the right side, it is loading. See, it takes a bit of time. This is a virtualized environment. See, this is link level policy, CDP policy and LDP policy. You have to navigate a bit to be able to reach at the right place. Interfaces, leaf interfaces, policy groups, IPGs. Thank you so much.